Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be trying to fix the ice maker on my LG refrigerator. I was having issues with it for the last couple of weeks and the last few days is basically quit making ice. So we're going to pull it out and see what's going on. So that's the ice maker and it's held in place by a couple of screws. So we're going to take those out first. And as you'll see, there's a couple of wires behind it as well that we'll have to undo before we can take out the ice maker. So there is a group of wires held by a clip that goes to the ice maker and there is a green ground wire as well that is separate from the group that we will also have to undo. Trying to get the connection clip off the ice maker is the hardest part of this job. It makes it difficult when you've got fat fingers like I have but basically it's clipped on and you have to press a little lever and it should come off. So I finally managed to take out the connection clip. As you can see there is the green ground wire still connected to the ice maker and that is held on with a little screw. So we're going to take that off next. So here's a closer look at the wiring. As you can see, there's the green ground wire and the connection clip. That was tough to get out, but we did manage to get it out. Off camera, I took the cover off the ice maker. It was just held on with a couple of screws and I'll show you that later. As you can see, there was ice forming inside the ice maker and I think that was stopping the ice maker from producing ice. And I can show you in a minute why I believe that's the case. The ice maker has an arm on it and that arm goes up and down as the ice is being produced and pushed out of the ice maker. As you can see the arm is hitting the ice and is stopping the full motion of the arm. I only had to wait a couple of minutes in this Texas heat before the ice melted so I could pop it out. And that's the culprit. Ice. Imagine that. An ice maker that won't work because it's got ice in it. So now that the ice is out of the way, as you can see, the arm has a full motion up and down, which is good news. So now we're going to put it back together. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put the cover on the ice maker. This ice maker only had one loose part. So I'm going to make sure I put it back in before I put the cover back on. So one of the screws goes in there. So I'm going to put that in first. And that's where the second screw goes on the cover. So 
just a final check to make sure the arm is going up and down smoothly without any obstructions and that's where the wire connection clip hooks in to the ice maker as you can see why it was hard to get to and the ground wire screws into that hole there I think I'm going to connect the ground wire first before I connect the other wire to the ice maker if you are enjoying the content then please think about subscribing to the channel small channels like ours really depend on subscribers so go ahead and subscribe it costs you nothing I'm just going to hand tighten the ground screw first before I come in with a screwdriver. And now the hard part which is to reinsert the wire clip into the ice maker. the clip sit it in nicely I'm going to test it to make sure the ice maker is getting power With everything wired up, I'm going to turn the ice maker on for a second just to make sure the lights come on as they do. So everything's good. I can now connect the ice maker to the door. If you are going to replace the ice maker completely and don't want to mess around with fixing it just make sure you get the right part for your refrigerator and as you can see it's plug and play and anyone can do it save yourself some money so I gave you a few hours and now I'm going to check to see if you have ice and it looks like we do happy days As you can see, it was really an easy fix. If you have to replace it, it's not a big deal either. Uh, just make sure you have the right part. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.